I am delighted to welcome um, my colleague at Steamhouse, Rebecca Brannan, um, to Comsum. Thank you uh, for joining us, Becky, um, and uh, for agreeing to come on and have a, a chat with us about Restart and your experiences of starting at Steamhouse. So, um, cool. Yeah, good. Thank you very much. So, um, right let's start with i, I want to i want you to tell us your journey basically to bring us right up to date but um i was quite interested in what you were doing before restart and then what led you to restart uh, and why sure yeah so i've worked in a variety of different jobs and um, trying out lots of different things since i was about 16. Um, and I was kind of in a place where I, I wanted a new opportunity, but I'd never really considered tech as an option for me before. Um, and I saw the advertisements for Restart and I spoke to a few friends because I have a couple of friends that work in tech. And I said, said, what do you think of this course? Like, is this something that I can realistically do in 12 weeks or do I need to go and get a degree for it? Is it something that I need to invest a lot more money in? Um, and a lot of them thought it was a great opportunity um, and not everything just kind of lined up. I thought, you know what, this is the perfect time to just go for this and give this a try. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm so glad I took the opportunity to do it. Brilliant. Brilliant. And so let, let's get into the detail then of what you actually did and what, why was it so good? Um, well, we got to cover a whole range of different um, subjects, but the first thing that we concentrated on was our approach to learning um, and kind of focusing on a growth mindset and that's something that I've really kind of carried into the role I'm in today at Steamhouse um, and I think that's really helped kind of motivate me to develop and learn more since I've left the course um, so that was one of the first things we covered that at the time I thought, oh, these are, these are things that I already know, but I hadn't really been putting into practice. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really glad that they covered those first because um, that's, that's actually really helped me in the future. Um, but after we did a lot of that, we went into a lot of the technical stuff with AWS and getting to learn some Python and like building our own little game and stuff like that. And just really getting to work through like troubleshooting and, and puzzle solving. And I found that really exciting and yeah. kind of piqued my interest. That is brilliant, actually. Yeah, you've, you've covered a lot of aspects of it that I hadn't realised, particularly that uh, growth mindset piece, which set you up really nicely for after you finished at Restart. Um, so do, um, tell us about that phase then. So you graduated from Restart. What happened then? Um, so once I graduated, I started preparing for my cloud practitioner exam, my AWS cloud practitioner. So I sat that in the June. So that was maybe a month or two after the exam, uh, the course finished. Um, so luckily I passed that and I managed to get an interview with Steamhouse. So I did all my interviews virtually because halfway through the restart course, we actually went into lockdown. So we had to kind of deal with that transition as well during the course. Um, which I think helped really build kind of resilience and kind of put into practice those things that we'd been taught in the first few weeks um, and kind of force us to really um, try and pull out all the information ourselves and kind of go the extra mile. Um, so I think that really helped. And yeah, I got to get a job at Steamhouse and, and continue learning there and it's been great. Brilliant, right, tell us about that then. So what is the job? Um, and I think I'm particularly interested in how what your journey has been in terms of learning and also the growing responsibility and experiences that you're that you're having at Steamhouse. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm a site reliability engineer. Um, so I'm focused mainly on the service desk. So responding to tickets um, and doing some instant response and then slowly starting to pick up more kind of proactive tasks for customers um, and What's been great for me is being able to learn from the engineers that we already have. Um, there's there's a fountain of knowledge there um, and just being able to share that knowledge has been really useful for me um, and getting involved in different projects um, like seeing like that, having them share the knowledge and then I'll go away and try and write some documentation on that um, and then work with them to to improve that and develop that so that when we get say new restart people we can can keep improving on that and iterate on that 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Good. And then, uh, so what are you studying for uh, another certification now or what's the next thing you're going to do? Yeah, so I've got two certifications in mind at the moment. I'm planning to go for the CKA, so the Certified Kubernetes Administrator and the AWS SysOps Administrator. So I'm planning to study both of those and hopefully get both of those in the next year. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, well, really impressed. Uh, and thank you very much uh, for joining us and taking the time to do this. Um, brilliant job. Thank you. Thank you.